to add discounts in Shopify, we wanna come first to the Shopify dashboard, and then we wanna come and find the discounts tab. So it's right there for us. And as you can see, my store doesn't have any discounts right now. So you can come and press create discount code, or if you do have discounts, they will be displayed here, and you can come to the right hand corner and then press create discount. So let's do that. And there are two options that you have when creating discounts within Shopify, either creating a discount code or creating an automatic discount that customers can get when they are checking out. Customers cannot use both of these at the same time. So an automatic discount is pretty easy. It essentially just creates a complete discount for the amount in their cart. So the first thing you have to do is create a title for the discount, something memorable for you. And you can also brand this as well because customers can see this in their cart. So maybe Black Friday, something like this. So it is a themed discount. Then with discounts, there are three ways to give automatic discounts. You can either do it as a percentage of their cart, a fixed amount. So this is maybe $5 or $10. And then buy X, get Y, which is basically like a buy one, get one free deal. And you can do all of the different criteria for that. So if we go to percentage first, you can literally just give a 10% discount for the cart. Then you can go through and essentially apply it to anything you like. Do you want it to apply to all of the products in your store? So if you have like 100 products, do you want a 10% discount store wide? Then you can do it on all products. If you want to click on specific collections, you'll see that this box comes up right here. So I can go and search some of my collections that I have. I can click on browse and I've got three collections of products in my store. I have a coffee beans collection. And I have a bunch of flowers collection. So let's say I want to apply a 10% discount on my coffee beans collection. I can click add right here and then that's done. If you don't know about collections or need any more information on collections, I'll put my tutorial on adding collections in Shopify into the description. You can go and check that out to see just how you can add and edit collections in Shopify. But that's really great. We can put a discount on a specific collection and then down to specific products. You can literally just browse the specific product that you want to discount. So right here, I have men's hats and I have different variants. I've got medium, large, different colors. You can actually specify which individual variant of a product that you want to discount. Maybe you have a color that isn't selling very well. Well, you can do that right here and discount it. So you can add that to the discount if you want. I'm just going to press cancel, but you can see you can really be specific in what you're discounting. What's great here as well is the minimum requirements. Maybe you want to give a 10% discount, but the customer needs to spend $50 or 50 pounds to get that. And then you can also add a minimum quantity of items as well if you don't want them to have a minimum dollar amount. You can then set the active dates for your discount, which is really great. So maybe you have a sale for a week. You can do that and it will just expire automatically. Maybe you're running a Black Friday deal and it's only like a weekend deal. So you can do all of that here. You can see that they cannot combine this with other discounts. So this is absolutely fine for me. And I'm just going to click on save. And then that discount is created. If for some reason there's an error, you can come and disable the discount right now. Do you want to disable it? Uh, no, I don't for now, but you can do that here. Let's come back to the discounts page, go to automatic discounts, and you can see we have our Black Friday discount, 10% off men's hats, specific hat right there that I added. That's really great, but how about discount codes as well? Maybe you want a fresh discount code that people can input when they're checking out. Let's go and create that then. So create discount, and we want a discount code right here. You can then put the code in. So maybe it's, you know, Oct 10 or something like that. So you're giving 10% off in October. You can then choose percentage, fixed amount, even free shipping with a discount code as well, which is really cool. So maybe you're running a free shipping discount for the month or the week and then buy X, get Y as well. You can set that up just like we did previously. Let's go back to percentage right here. You can put the 10% in there like that. Do you want it to apply to all products or specific products? Let's do a collection and search by coffee. There it is, it's found it for us, so we can add that. Are there any minimum requirements just like before? And who is eligible for this discount? This is really great, so if you have a lot of different groups of customers on Shopify, then you can obviously group them and you can search for them right here just like we did with our products and our collections. You can even group them by zone or country as well. So maybe you have a selection of people that are in a certain country or a certain state 
or whatever, you can be really specific in terms of who gets the discounts. Then you can limit the usage of it. So maybe you're offering a really good discount, but you know it's only one per customer, otherwise it would get crazy. Well, you can do that right here. And then you can just set the active dates as well. Once you're happy with that discount, of course, you can save it and that will also be applied to your store. So let's go back to discounts right now. You can see we have discount codes and we have automatic discounts as well. I'm just gonna go to this discount and click on it. And what's really great is that you can promote this discount. You can actually get a shareable link for it, but you can also do email campaigns in the marketing tab in Shopify as well with the discount code. That's for another tutorial though. As I said, way more in the description. You can go and click on those links and find out more. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.